Will narcissists live peacefully if they don't have a bathroom in their house? Hey everyone! Welcome back to the Narcissist Exposed channel. I'm really excited to have you here today because we're going to dive into a topic that's both curious and thought-provoking. Will narcissists live peacefully if they don't have a bathroom in their house? It might sound like a strange question at first, but when you think about how much the bathroom means to someone with narcissistic tendencies, it becomes clear that this isn't just a simple matter of losing a room, it's about losing a vital part of their personal sanctuary. So, let's explore what happens when a narcissist loses access to their most private space. Let's get into it. To understand the significance of the bathroom to a narcissist, we need to first appreciate the unique role this space plays in their lives. Narcissists are individuals who are deeply concerned with their self-image, often needing constant validation, admiration, and a sense of superiority. They thrive on being in control of how they are perceived, both by themselves and by others. The bathroom, with its inherent privacy and reflective surfaces, provides a perfect environment for this kind of self-focused behavior. For a narcissist, the bathroom is not just a place to perform routine tasks like washing up or brushing teeth. It's a sacred space where they can indulge in their self-admiration where they can control every aspect of their environment, from the lighting to the cleanliness, and where they can engage in rituals that reinforce their self-worth and sense of perfection. The bathroom offers solitude, a place where they can escape from the outside world and its demands, a place where they can be alone with their thoughts and their reflection. Without this sanctuary, the narcissist's carefully constructed world starts to become more fragile. Imagine a life where a narcissist no longer has a bathroom to retreat to. This is more than just losing a convenient space, it's about losing control over a significant aspect of their daily routine. The bathroom is where they validate themselves. Where they reinforce the belief that they are exceptional, and where they feel most at peace with their own self-image. Without it, they are forced to confront the outside world without the safety net of their private sanctuary. The absence of a bathroom would disrupt the narcissist's ability to engage in their self-soothing rituals. These rituals, whether it's grooming, applying makeup, or simply staring into the mirror, are essential for maintaining their self-image. Each ritual is a moment of reinforcement. A way to solidify the belief that they are in control, that they are perfect, that they are worthy of admiration. Without the ability to perform these rituals in the privacy of a bathroom, the narcissist may start to feel vulnerable, exposed, and out of control. This loss of control is crucial because, for a narcissist, control is everything. They carefully curate their image, their environment, and their interactions with others to maintain a sense of superiority. The bathroom is a key part of this control. It's a space where they can ensure that everything is just right, where they can look their best, feel their best, and prepare themselves to face the world. Without this space, their sense of control begins to erode. Moreover, the lack of a bathroom means that the narcissist would have to rely more on the outside world for validation. The bathroom is where they receive the most honest validation from themselves. In front of the mirror, they can admire their reflection and reinforce their self-worth without the need for external input. Without this, they are forced to seek validation from others more frequently, which can be challenging and frustrating. Narcissists are notoriously sensitive to criticism and rejection, and relying more on external validation increases the risk of encountering these negative experiences, which can be deeply unsettling for them. The bathroom also offers a space for the narcissist to escape the demands of social interactions. While narcissists crave attention and admiration, they also find social interactions exhausting because they require constant performance. 
In the bathroom, they don't have to perform. They can relax, be themselves, or at least the version of themselves that they prefer, and recharge. Without this retreat, they are forced to confront the demands of social interactions more frequently, which can lead to increased stress, frustration, and anxiety. Additionally, the absence of a bathroom could amplify a narcissist's insecurities. Narcissists are often deeply insecure individuals, despite their outward appearance of confidence and superiority. The bathroom, with its mirror and controlled environment, provides a space where they can reassure themselves of their worth and attractiveness. Without this space, those insecurities might start to surface more frequently leading to heightened anxiety and discomfort. They may become more obsessed with their appearance, more anxious about how they are perceived, and more desperate for validation from others. The psychological impact of not having a bathroom might also manifest in more overt behaviors. A narcissist who feels that they can't control their environment might try to exert control in other areas of their life. This could lead to increased manipulation of others, more extreme demands for attention, or more rigid routines designed to compensate for the lack of their usual sanctuary. In essence, they might become more difficult to live with, as their need for control becomes more pronounced. Furthermore, the bathroom represents a space of purity and perfection for the narcissist. It's where they cleanse themselves, both physically and symbolically, of the imperfections they perceive in themselves and the world around them. Without this space, they might struggle with feelings of impurity or imperfection, which can be deeply distressing for someone who is obsessed with maintaining a perfect image. This could lead to obsessive behaviors or even depression as they grapple with their inability to maintain the high standards they set for themselves. Another important aspect to consider is how the lack of a bathroom would affect the narcissist's relationships with others. The bathroom is a private space where they can retreat from the expectations and demands of others. Without it, they might feel more exposed and vulnerable, leading to increased irritability, frustration, and possibly even lashing out at those around them. Their relationships could suffer as they become more demanding or more critical, trying to regain the sense of control and superiority that they've lost. In the absence of a bathroom, a narcissist might also turn to other coping mechanisms to fill the void. This could include more time spent on social media, where they can carefully curate their image and seek validation from a broader audience. However, this kind of validation is fleeting and often unsatisfying, leading to a cycle of seeking more and more attention without ever feeling truly at peace. They might also become more obsessed with other aspects of their life that they can control, such as their work or their relationships, often to the detriment of those around them. Without a bathroom, the narcissist's ability to engage in self-reflection is also diminished. The mirror is a tool for them to examine not just their appearance but also their persona. It's where they practice facial expressions, rehearse conversations, and reinforce their identity. Without this tool, they might feel less confident in their interactions with others, leading to increased anxiety and a greater need for reassurance. This could make them more dependent on others for validation which is a position that most narcissists find deeply uncomfortable. Finally, the peace that a narcissist finds in the bathroom is linked to their ability to escape from reality, even if just for a few moments. The bathroom is a place where they can indulge in their fantasies, where they can be whoever they want to be without the constraints of the real world. Without this escape, they are forced to confront the reality of their lives more directly which can be unsettling. The loss of this private space could lead to a sense of dissatisfaction or even despair. As they struggle to maintain the illusion of perfection without their usual retreat. In conclusion, it's unlikely that a narcissist would live peacefully without a bathroom in their house. 
The bathroom is more than just a functional space for them. It's a sanctuary where they can maintain their self-image, control their environment, and escape from the demands of the outside world. Without it, they would likely feel more vulnerable, more exposed, and less in control, leading to increased stress, anxiety, and possibly even more pronounced narcissistic behaviors as they try to compensate for the loss of their private sanctuary. The bathroom is a vital part of their coping mechanisms, and without it, their carefully constructed world would likely start to unravel. Thanks so much for sticking with me through this deep dive into the psychology of narcissism and the importance of the bathroom. I hope you found this discussion as fascinating as I did. If you enjoyed this video and want to explore more about the complexities of human behavior and psychology, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. And as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the idea of narcissists living without a bathroom? Drop your comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next video. This is how a narcissist suffers when they realize they have lost. Hi everyone. Thank you for coming back to our comfortable channel. Today, we're delving into the profound realizations narcissists face when they finally understand they'd lost. It's like peering into the intricate workings of a complex puzzle, so buckle up. Show us some love by clicking the like button, subscribing to our channel, and sharing our content with your friends and family. And if you want to dive deeper into understanding narcissism, don't miss our free course, Narcissism 101. Spot the signs, find your freedom, and rebuild. Check the description for all the details. Let's jump right in. When narcissists finally wake up and smell the coffee, realizing they've lost, it's like a light bulb goes off, revealing the bigger picture. They start to see how their selfishness has damaged every aspect of their lives, not just one bad relationship. Narcissists, like emotional ninjas, create chaos without anyone noticing. They lie, hurt people, and leave a trail of destruction. It's easier to see now, even if it was hidden before. They get a wake-up call when they hit rock bottom, realizing they're no longer the kings and queens of their world. Reflecting on their mistakes, they feel regret for missed opportunities, the pain they've caused, and the false fronts they'd maintained. It's a harsh lesson that lying and manipulating only lead to a lonely and empty life. Healing from the damage inflicted by a narcissist is no easy journey. It takes immense strength and courage to confront every painful memory. But with perseverance and time, you can reclaim your sense of self and the power they took from you. As you work towards recovery, you might wonder, can you ever forgive a narcissist? Should you even consider forgiveness after all the damage they've done? There's a lot of work to be done before forgiveness can even be considered. This includes breaking free from the trauma bond, forming new friendships, and perhaps starting fresh in a new place. Forgiving a narcissist won't magically make things better, just like you can't expect horses to parade down the street. These cunning individuals infiltrate your life and drag you into a pit of darkness, leaving a trail of shattered hearts behind. If you'd known the trouble they would bring, you would have slammed the door in their face from the start. Narcissists thrive on chaos, leaving destruction in their wake. They're well aware of the havoc they wreak as they move from one target to the next. But eventually, the bill comes due, and they have to face the music. It's somewhat satisfying to see them finally get their comeuppance. Yet, it's hard to see the silver lining when you're still entangled in their web of lies. You might have hoped they'd own up to their mistakes and make amends, but let's be honest, narcissists only care about themselves. Breaking up with a narcissist is tough because they don't just move on. They're like vultures, waiting for the perfect moment to leave you when you're down. 
It's as if they're always on the hunt for someone to prey on. Don't be fooled by their reminiscing about the good times. It's just a ploy to keep you hooked. They see you as nothing more than a trophy to boost their ego. Prepare for a long battle if you're leaving a narcissist. They recognize your worth and won't give up easily. They see you as the ultimate source of love and admiration, so they'll drag out the process to maintain control over you. You need to face the harsh reality of dealing with narcissists, even though it's unpleasant. They know how to drain your time and energy without you even realizing it. Narcissists are fully aware of what they're losing when you break up with them. They knew what made you special, even if they never showed it. They had other options before you, during your time together and after you. They were always weighing and comparing their choices. You were their rock, always there for them. While you saw love, they saw an opportunity to exploit your generosity and kindness. It's like they never truly understood your feelings or the importance of your support. To them, you were just a piece in their game, a tool to achieve their desires. When the relationship crumbles, guess who shows up at your door? That's right, their ego. Have you heard of hoovering? This is their sneaky tactic to pull you back into their chaotic world. Is it because they're lonely or because they miss the perks you provided, like your constant care, emotional support or financial assistance? They knew you made them feel good and could boost their ego whenever needed. But don't be fooled. They don't come crawling back out of loneliness or remorse for their actions. It's just another move in their twisted game of control and manipulation. They'll do everything in their power to reel you back in and regain control over you. We all know it. Narcissists will never admit they're wrong. Not a chance. They might occasionally ponder what they've lost, but they'll never take responsibility for their actions. They always think they're right and blame everyone else. Do you recall if they ever genuinely apologized? Did it seem sincere when they did? When they begged for another chance, they always had plenty of empty words. You gave your all to the relationship, but they took advantage and ran with it. Think about it. At first, everything felt intense and fast-paced. They made you feel special and captivated. You were caught off guard when things started to slow down over time. Did they lose interest? Find someone new? Some things are too good to be true, but it's hard to pinpoint. The mind games began once they had you hooked. They knew exactly what to say to make you give in, and you always did. You remember waiting for a message on your phone, right? But eventually, the messages became fewer, and when they did come, they felt empty and unresponsive. While you were opening up to others, they were out there pouring their heart out to someone new, leaving you empty-handed. Why? Because they've moved on to their next target. They will continue this cycle until someone breaks free or they choose to move on. Eventually, they'll realize what they've lost. Their destructive behavior ruins all kinds of relationships. When they play games with someone, people stop welcoming them into their lives. Those friends they frequently mention. Most likely, they're just being used. In the end, their true colors come to light. They wreck relationships without a second thought because that's their nature. Ever wondered why some people can't see through a narcissist? It's truly puzzling. Some may figure it out, but choose to stay silent to avoid becoming the next target. Others may not spend enough time with the narcissist to see beyond the facade. It's that simple. A lot of the damage happens behind closed doors, away from prying eyes. That's when the ego drops the mask and reveals the nightmare within, but in public. They appear as the epitome of elegance and charm, working hard to maintain their perfect image. Meanwhile, they use you as a punching bag for all kinds of mental, spiritual and financial abuse. They've likely tried every trick in the book. Deep down, they know they'd lost you. 
they might not admit it because they're too busy basking in their own delusions of grandeur. They knew you were special, but treated you like garbage. The good news is that you're stronger and more resilient than ever. You rose from the ashes and are shining brighter than before. Now it's a draw for the narcissist. They're out there causing chaos for unsuspecting people, but you're living your best life. Deep down, they'll realize something. They really messed up. They missed out on an incredible person. So keep your head up, embrace your true self, and never doubt your worth. You've got this, and you're never alone. Let the healing process begin, my friend.